hello friends in this program we will see how we can respond to the different mouse event in visual c++ 6.0 windows handles three mouse buttons left middle and right some mice have only two buttons in which case you have only left and right button events because of this most application respond to the left and right buttons but in special circumstances you might want to use all three for each button your program will receive two events for windows one for when user press the button and the other when they release the button sometime handling this event is referred to as caching because these messages are normally sent down to window base class you are caching or intercepting them with your own code okay let us see how mouse event works in visual c++ go to file new projects mfcf is rdxe give a name to your project okay select dialog based click finish okay you are removing extra components now we need to event add an event or a message handler on left mouse button click to do so you can go to view and class wizard or press control w okay now find w m underscore L button down okay here it is W M underscore L button down click add function click edit code click yes to save our time I'm going to copy and paste some code here okay so this function will be executed every time user left click of mouse on left click of mouse so this is a C string variable which will uh, store a string value. We are formatting this me message. We, we are formatting this uh, variable to store this string. Here left button pressed at is a string itself written. Percentage D is a modifier and uh, format modifier. This will be replaced by point x and point y this point we can get this uh, point from here you can see this l button down message handler or event provide us two different inputs c point and n flag unsigned integer n flag and c point using this we can find out where uh, x and y coordinate where the mouse is clicked so we are formatting this message now this message will be uh, replaced as a title of the window set window text and str message now we are creating a pointer for the icon that we will use in future so this n flag return us up uh, us uh, few values and we can check it against different flags so if n flag is available and it is a control key mk control provides if the mk control is pressed or not then we are uh, storing one icon flag this is idi exclamation 
idea exclamation is an exclamation mark in triangle this is a system icon that we are storing the in this pointer okay if the control key is not play not there then we go further here we will check if flag is available and shift key is pressed then we are storing IDI application icon in PSZ icon pointer the application icon will show default application uh, small window like application you will see it in the future and again not control key is pressed not shift key is pressed then we are checking if the right button is pressed then we are uh, going to display asterisk sign and this asterisk is actually an information icon uh, here there will be a small i used ok in uh, now our psz icon contains ok oh sorry i forget it the last one if nothing no key is pressed and then the by default icon will be idi hand idi hand is a x mark in the red circle ok now we are creating a pointer to the device context about the device context we will see in future videos for now just uh, understand this this is going to uh, create a device context to draw something ok and it has a draw icon method so pdc is now our object and using that object we are calling draw icon method we are passing our point x and y coordinate that we are receiving from here ok so this uh, we are we want to draw at this place and fx get app load standard icon this will load our icon that we have stored in this pointer variable ok once this done we are releasing the device context let us run this program and see how it works to execute this program press F5 or you can use this icon now I am pressing left mouse button click you can see it is drawing hand icon now I am pressing control key and left mouse button click now I am pressing shift key and left mouse button click ok and now I am going to press right mouse button and clicking the left mouse button also you, if I click only right mouse, mouse button it is an, another event so it will not work you have to press first press right click right mouse button and then left button key you can see it is showing us it is drawing everything at uh, it is finding which key is pressed and uh, where it need to be drawn and as well as see here in title there are different coordinates automatically changing as I am clicking in different areas okay so this was a mouse event hope you like it see you in next video